Hi, this is Shannon with Cheek and Sassy Nails by Shannon. I am doing a demo of the new fall collection. So this is the Fall 24. It's a collection called Modern Heirloom. So we are going to take a look at each of the sets. I pulled out all the pinky strips. We are going to put them on and we are going to put them over some uh, to show some of uh, little nail files to show some sheerness as well. So uh, take a look at these beauties. If you haven't seen them already, look at these. They are gorgeous. There's 15 new sets plus an accent pack that comes with one of the strips. I will show you as we get to that one. They are kind of in color order for me here. Aren't these pretty though? All right, so we're going to start at the top. I want to show you a close up. This is Rose Cameo. It is a glitter. It has Prism Effects glitter in it. Uh, if I haven't introduced myself, I'm Shannon. I've been a color sheet stylist for five and a half years. Uh, please like and follow or like and subscribe. Um, I'm also on Facebook and Instagram as She Can Sassy Nails by Shannon. I'm happy you're here if you're new. Uh, welcome back if you're not. Let me grab the flyer. I'm just going to pull it up so I can reference and just make sure I have everything correct. So I'm going to pull that up with my window here. So, all right, Rose Cameo is considered a prismic effects. Um, so it has that, if you can see, it has that kind of irregular, iridescent glitter in it. So let's look at that one first. This is going to be warning you. This is probably going to be a decent, a decent length for this video here. Probably pretty long since there is a whole fall collection. This is the whole new fall catalog. Um, this is the first time I have opened these. So this one has the, um, just the regular colored base. Um, I don't think it looks overly sheer. You can kind of see the white through it. So I guess if you, um, wanted to get that white to pop a little bit more. Now that I'm looking, I don't, I wouldn't have needed to take out both pinkies because I forget I have a whole other half. But what I'm going to do is then I can layer some of these. So why don't we do that? So this is a very pretty um, rose colored with glitter. I love this color. Personally, I'm a big fan of pink though. I have magenta hair if you haven't seen my any of my pages. But uh, let's put this over the darkest. Let's put it over these two actually. See what it looks like. So you can kind of see through it. You can see those dots so it kind of mutes it if you over if you lay it over a set i don't feel like this one would be necessarily you'd want to put it on everything you know maybe it would pop a little bit more over white but i don't think it makes a huge difference personally um very pretty color though so that one's rose cameo the next one is going to be this more purple tone uh through the grapevine this is a glitter, so see it has that, um, it looks like maybe a little silver, little rose gold, or pink maybe even. Oh, I should have pulled up, here, let me pull up the descriptions as well. I actually have those somewhere. Let's grab that. All the stuff I didn't think of ahead of time, sorry about that. I do know, I do know where it is, so hold on. All right, so let me see. Rose Cameo is called is described. So this first one is described as a strawberry pink with enchanting prism effects flakes through the grapevine, a deep plum with rose gold glitter flecks. That's basically what I said. All right, so let's look at what this one is. I'm going to keep these off to the side still to use to maybe layer some stuff later. We will play around because that is what this video is going to be. Uh, the base is just the regular color of the of the base color. And then, man, this is a pretty one too. I love, I love, I really actually love this whole collection. I love all the colors in this collection as far as um, 
how they go together as well. They're very harmonious. Uh, I love the vintage vibe that it gives out. It's like super exciting to me. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So this is the purple through the grapevine. Not super sheer. Super pretty on. Look at those together. Gorgeous. All right. This floral one. So this one is floral embroidery. I love this kind of antique looking floral. Like, look at that details. Super pretty. Um, I have heard this is somewhat sheer, so if you put it on white, I think it might pop more. It is a glitter design. It's not a traditional glitter that we've had glitter design, but this is a design. And then there is a glitter. Let me see if I can get the glitter to show up on camera. Uh, it's hard to get the get the it to reflect the glitter, but it's like a light. Oh, I guess they call it a shimmer design. So there's a light shimmer finish. Basically, some really fine glitter is like sprinkled over the top. So the glitter is probably a little hard to catch on camera here, but um, it is it is in there. They're calling it a shimmer design. So let's see. This is a ooh. See how sheer that one. You can see the design through not um so it is a fairly sheer if you can see that see how much of that white you can show through so if you do want this to pop you would definitely need to put it Ooh. okay let me do it like this hold on i want to show you on the bare nail um if you want it to pop a little more you're going to put it out against white like it is on the paper backing, especially this beige one, that darker, those three strips that are a little bit darker are probably not going to um, be a sheer, but I'm sorry. I'm not going to open that. All right. That one says a uh, floral embroidery, a botanical plum colored print on a subtle ivory and gold shimmer base. All right. So let's put this over some dots here. We can see how sheer this is. I'm going to actually go for the pink and purple area here. This is quite sheer. So we're going to do like, look at that. And you can see all three of those dots super clear. So you have to be careful when you are layering this like ivory base. If you do white, it's going to look like it does on the back paper, the white paper backing. If you put it over any other color, you're going to see some of that color through. So let's, um, okay, let's layer a little bit later and we'll do that. We'll come back and do layering. Um, all right. So this one is the Sweet Perfume, a luxe cream shade. Okay, that doesn't give a lot of description. Uh, it is a little bit more purple than the um, Manchester Mauve, if you remember that set. It has more purple in it. Um, very pretty. Again, matches. Like, I just love all these colors. These colors together. Like, look at how pretty that looks. Okay, so let's look at what this one looks like on its own. I don't believe this is going to have any sort of a other it's not going to have a different it shouldn't have a different color base to it it should just be that that mauve -y, there you go color uh, a cream shade creams oh this is very pretty too so i want to put it over it doesn't look very sheer i'm going to layer it with this other purple and see if I can tell the difference here, besides that ridge, are you see? I don't think I'm seeing much difference in the color of that one compared to where it's overlapped. I'll put it on this and see here if you can see much of that blue or purple. You really can't. That one's probably that one's not very sheer. Um. 
I, did, I do have Peely base on, so I'm hoping I can get these off because I am going to do a Manny with these sets too. All right, this is uh, Art Nouveau. So two of these glitters are based off of Tokyo Lights. Okay, this on camera is looking way more silvery than it is in real life. It is definitely more purple, like kind of light purple, purple lavenders. Um, maybe some rose gold. Let's see what it's described as a mix of silver, purple, and chunky bronze glitter. Okay, so I was getting rose gold, but they call it bronze. So silver, purple, and chunky bronze glitter. Um, so this one is loosely based off of Tokyo Lights, but in kind of more of that purple tones. Uh, very sheer. So this is a very sheer, uh, over, almost an overlay. They call it a glitter, but it is, I'll show you here in a minute. It's very sheer. You can see how much of that, like, and maybe you can't see as much because it's so glittery. It's sheer like Tokyo Lights is sheer in the fact that you can see through the base um, but because it is so shimmery, so glittery, I think when you're looking at it, the really the lights reflecting off of all that shimmer, but you can, there you can see the white a lot better. Um, do I want to layer this over? We'll layer the other one over so I can show you what it looks like on a bare nail. So that's what it is on the bare nail. Oh, I'm going to put it on this first. Let's put on some of these light, these colors and see. So you can see the polka dots through how sheer those are. And then we will go back, like, come back in later and do some layering. I'm going to run out of fingernails, but all right, this one. Oh, sorry. Let's show this first. I forgot what this one, silk scarf. I forgot what this one is called. Silk scarf is described as a rosy brown topped with fine gold glitter. So you can see that fine glitter. It is a rosy brown um, with a super fine gold glitter. So it is very pretty on. Again, like I said, a lot of these coordinate very well together. Um, so this one is a little, it says the base is the same color. You can see, you know, it's a little sheer, but not going to be crazy. We're going to do this so I can you say to save some nail space here. I can't see a huge difference between the, the two, so I don't think it's super us. I don't think it's super see-through when we apply it. We're going to go purple, oh, this dark purple circle and the pink circle. And you can kind of see that purple circle underneath. Not going to change the color a ton. All right, so you can see that. I wouldn't consider that one very sheer. Um, is this pocket? Oh, this is Lucky. Okay, so this is Lucky Locket. This is the one that comes with the accent pack. So, Lucky Locket is a full-size strip. This is called Exquisite Tapestry, which is super cute. I've already heard a lot of people expressing that they would have loved this in a full-size strip. But as they made it, it is a pack where you get a full, full set and an accent pack for $16. Um, remember, the accent packs are only four nails, which is why I'm not actually going to open this one up. But somebody was asking me if the base of Lucky is the same as um, Leopard Coat, and it is not the same. <laughs> so, all right. This is a little similar to Gratitude is Everything, but it is a lot more smooth of a shimmer finish. So some of the shimmer finishes have a texture to them. I don't really know if that's the best way to explain it, but it is like, I don't know how to even describe it. it Cause it's not glitter, but it's not as smooth as this. So, 
Um, they describe it as a shimmer, but like I said, see how smooth the shimmer is? It just has the a nice um, like sheen to it. Some of the others are actually a more textured shimmer or even have glitter sprinkled in. So the base, it is more of a finish like silver, silver lust and gold. Stay golden. Um, all right, let's put this on my thumb. So we can see that what it looks like on a nail and then we can use the other half again. Ooh, I like that color. Look at that finish. It's pretty. Um, okay, let's use, let's go to this. We're going to go to see if we see any of the stripes through. Can we see anything through this? Uh, no. Not sheer. That's my vote. Okay. Now this one should be pocket watch. Pocket watch is, let's see how they describe that one, as a deep shimmery, wait, a deep shimmery espresso with a rose flash. I didn't type or I didn't uh, spell check these when I, I better go, <laughs> I better go edit my post. <laughs> I didn't spell check these before I posted. Um, this is the one that reminded me of Bronze Age without the color shift. So they're describing it as an espresso with a rose flash. Oh, I guess that they say it does have a, f a flash to it, but it has a rose flash where Bronze Age had that kind of, oh, what was that? Was it more of a greenish or something? It was definitely a different, different color. Um, but see, all of these sets go together so nice. Like, look at this. Like, I just love all these, like, shades together. Like, I feel like they're definitely um, keeping mixed manis in mind, which is what my, f our favorites, a lot of our favorites are anyway. So they're almost making it easier um, to pair up these sets so uh pocket watch cool name i like it not black base it is this color it's like that it almost looks like a made in maybe it is black it looks made in milan-esque -esque to me so it's like they put the dark almost a made in milan color within this then the shimmery finish over the top so let's put that we'll slightly overlap that Oops, I put that on crooked. Ooh, that's very pretty. I really overlapped my uh, cuticle here. I do have peely base, so I'm going to, that'll be easy to peel off. Look at that. It is like made in Milan, but shimmer, but like the more of the metallic shimmer finish to it. I just had made in Milan on too. It's not quite as dark. It looks more dark on camera than it is in person, just so you know. All right, let's see what, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be sheer at all as well, and it is not. All right, and then this is the leopard coat. All right, my little perfectionism here is wondering why I have some of these charmed the other way. So we're going to flip those over. <laughs> All right, so this is left. Oh, I should look, show you the big one. Leopard coat. Uh, that one is described as, got to find it on my list. A moody twist on the classic leopard print with a subtle shimmer. So it is a lot. If you were thinking it's the same as uh, Sapphire, not Sapphire, yeah, Safari Chic. That is very gold-based. This is a lot more neutral in tone, um, and it is not glitter. It is definitely shimmer. It is like a toned-down, non-glitter version of, um, in more of a brown, brown, browny, bronzy, neutral. Even almost has like a, almost a purpley tint tint to it in some of these. Like this one was like a brown purple. Which one was the brown purple? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, which one did this describe? So this one's Espresso with the Rose Flash. And which one had the... Sorry, I gotta read these. Rosy Brown is this, is this one. Like, all of these would are kind of, like, have that warmer, pinky purpley tone to it with the mix with the brown and they all go great together in my opinion so all right okay so let's see oh and this one's super sheer i did see pictures of this super duper duper sheer like look at it's very sheer i don't know if you can tell through the with the shimmer it looked very sheer in, when I've seen it in some pictures. I'm not getting a good take on it because of the fact that I can't hold it up to the light as much. There you can see it because the sh light's from coming from behind. So let's show it by itself on this finger. Let's see if I'm going to run out of nails. That's pretty. I do like me a good animal print. Oops. Okay, that's really stuck to my finger. So let's see if I can get that off. Okay. Let's see. This one's going to go over here. It's not as sheer on as I saw, but you could definitely see. Did you... When the, hold on. If I hold it at the right angle, you can definitely see that blue circles. It looks more sheer when you hold it up to the light, but in reality, when you put it on, it doesn't look as sheer. It doesn't seem as sheer on the nail. And maybe that's just because of the how the shimmer finish is. So you guys could play around with that one for sure and see what you think. All right, so now we're moving out of those kind of bronze... Uh, Antiki colors hand me dots I couldn't remember what this one was so this one reads let's see what they describe this as a delicate polka dotted champagne and dark gray glitter all right which that makes sense to me because I keep getting silvery gray but I also get gold at the same time and they're mixing a champagne and a dark gray which is why I'm getting both. I love this one. Personally. I actually like most of these. Um, so yeah. There's that. Ooh. So it definitely has a gray base. Do you see that? Um, oh again. This is one though that's reversed. So oh look at this. Okay. So. They all have this gray base, gray, is it gray sh or champagne? I think this is more of gray, but it's kind of reading a little more gold. So it's like a cross between gray and champagne. Um, I would guess then, cause this is one of the black strips that they all have this base, but then, um, some of them have the black, more of the black as, so it's almost like a reverse you know polka dots here situation going on here so let's we're just gonna put that next to that i love those colors they are very pretty together Ooh, look at that that is stunning it is gray i love that it's gray and not black i mean i like that it reads as black but it is really it is really gray um I don't think this is going to be sheer at all. I don't know why I got so sing-songy. I'm not a singer at all. Okay, that's pretty. Not sheer. Okay. Ooh, this one. So this is the second one that is inspired by Tokyo Lights. Um, but it is a... So the glitter is the same word. It's kind of a mix of a, a fine glitter and a chunkier glitter. Not the huge chunk glitter, but it is... Um, described as if I can find it on my list a blend of silver bronze and chunky aqua blue glitter so it has both silver bronze and aqua all right this is cool so super sure too 
So it has a clear base so you can see colors through it, but because of the amount of glitter it has on it, it is, it's not, you know, um, it's more of a subtle colors that you can see through it. Like it looks super sheer to me in person, like you can see my skin through it, but it is super glittery. So when you put it on, um, this color, this color of the set definitely does come through but not as much as you think I in my opinion so but it's super pretty look at that so if you don't like Tokyo lights for a reason or if you do like Tokyo lights this actually might appeal to both because it is has like the glitter in Tokyo lights but with a different color way so you kind of get the best of both worlds here in the fact that let's put it over these and see what that looks like Oh yeah, see how sheer that is? This one's even more sheer than um, Art Nouveau. Well, maybe not. They're both pretty sheer. They're both pretty sheer. So Tokyo Lights is sheer too. I like seeing it over a lot of different sets. So that'll be a fun one to play with. And I will put it over, we'll put this other ones over some other colors after we get through the single sets oh i almost forgot this this is a gorgeous we actually got a twosie of this early this is vintage porcelain look how pretty that delicate floral design is um this is described as a dusty robin robin's egg blue cream with a deep blue twall tool twall because tool is what the ballerina skirts are made of so i think this is pronounced twall i'm not positive about that print um love it so it, they call it a dusty robin's egg blue so it is a cross it is a tealy a light tealy blue in my opinion i thought it was a pretty similar base to mojave turquoise so maybe a turquoise is a good color to describe it, but it is kind of dusty and it's a little more muted. Here's the bait, the backing, not crazy sheer in my opinion. Um, you know, most sets, well, a lot of sets, I think that don't even look sheer, but if you put a crazy bright color under it, you could probably see we're gonna how many nails do I have left one two three yeah we're gonna double up on this one that is a pretty color that is pretty love it love it love it love it I don't think this one's very sheer let's see here we'll put it on these polka dots oh the blue was not a good idea purple and pink oh it's stuck to my nails and I'm not seeing anything through that. So I'm seeing not sheer for that one. This is also a pretty color. This is old money. So from the description, okay, well, this makes more sense. From the name, I was thinking it should be green because it's called old money. But like, I guess I was getting too literal with this, with the word money, but it's described as a rich teal and gold fleck gold flecked shimmer so there it's a rich teal it is very rich but then it has little gold flecks when if you can kind of see that oh here i'll show you the big set i forgot that's probably easier i don't know if you can see the gold when i kind of curve it you can kind of see the gold better man it's pretty it is um so it is teal I was like thinking it would be green, but it's definitely more teal and it's actually described as teal. So we'll go with that. Oh, black base, you guys. But it's like sheerish. Can you see my fingers through that? Like I can. I don't think it's sheer in the fact that I don't think. But you can definitely see through it. So maybe that's why it reads as a little. I don't know. In the light, in one of the, um, in the nail fee that I've seen of it so far, it is, it looks green in certain light. That is so pretty though. I am a fan, let me tell you. And I do want to 
put this um, set. Let's see here. Let's do these colors and see if I can see anything through it. Well, once you lay it down, no, I can't see through it. So between that black base and the um and that sheen, that shimmer to it. Oh, this one is fountain pen, which they describe as the perfect creamy midnight blue. So we've had U.S. Navy for navy. So this is a midnight blue. So I don't know what midnight blue how it differs from navy, except for the fact that I feel like midnight blue is a little lighter. Um, I have heard. Let me see what else was we had a blue in the the book sub box too that was like a navy blue can't for the life of me think of what that one is called however um kind of a little see-through ish not super see-through again the cult base color is the same the backing is the same as the base or it's like not a not a different base color <laughs> oh it's pretty it is definitely deeper and richer than a slate blue. It re it's so in person. I feel like the light is skewing it a little bit. The light, my bright light, so that it's like people can see, is making it lighter and more slate blue than it really is. It is very, um. It is a very good midnight blue, actually. I like it better than I thought based on that let's see this here we're gonna put this over here not see through in my opinion but it so i've noticed so okay right so let me see if i can get it on camera where i can see what it looks like that kind of dark color right there is what i see on my nail in person where and i feel like when i hold it like by the light more the light makes it look lighter on camera more of a slate blue which it's not <laughs> so um okay this one i thought looked this is poetic beauty i thought this looked like a lot like um uh sleep tight in the packaging it does not look like that on the nails or in person because it is a lot lighter than that. See this? Look at that. Look at that sheerness of that. It is a lot lighter and more purpley than Sleep Tight is. Look at that. Not at all the same. Look at that. See, I was a little uh, maybe harsh on it when I first opened that, but I did not take it. That was a that was out in the package. So you definitely. I know there's a huge difference when you open the sets up. Which is why I'm sacrificing. Oops, I folded it. So you can see how sheer that is. Look at fold it on itself. So if you double that, maybe that'll be more like sleep tight. But it definitely has more of a purple, almost more of a periwinkle tone to it than um than sleep tight. Oh, it is it is sheer though. Look at oh, so under right there you can see that stripes see those stripes so this one has possibilities too to mix and match um so again this is the uh exquisite tapestry that i am not going to be opening at this time all right so now what i wanted to do is take a couple of these at least these sh really sheer ones and play and see what it looked like over some of the other ones and I think the rest I'm going to just save actually I don't know if I need to save the little pinkies I guess I could do this again in my group but we're going to take half of this and put it on the pink and half of it on maybe one of the blues maybe I'll just oh yeah okay so maybe I will put this we're going to put this on the corner here where it gets some of the um 
Now I gotta remember the colors. Through the grapevine and okay, we're gonna try to block a little of the a little of the so it's over half through the grapevine and over a uh, sweet perfume. Okay, let's see if I put it closer if I can focus. Okay, there you can see the dark through it and the light through it. You see that? And then let's look at it over. How about this purple? How about part of it over here? That's the same set over a fountain pen. So this is Art Nouveau. And then let's see Art Nouveau over, what else do I want to put it on? Let's put it over this dark. Um, this is Pocket Watch. That's pretty too. That's kind of giving, I don't know what, it, what it's reminding me of. All right, so let's look at this blue one. This is the jewelry box set. So I'm going to put jewelry box over. There's two of them. I want to try it over actually, because I want to see it over this one. Okay. I really like that. That's very pretty. What else should we put it with? Oh, let's put half on. Hey, that's not half, but let's put this little chunk at the bottom of this is the, what was that called? Um, fountain pen. Okay. Wait, is it in focus? I think so. So fountain pen and with half of Art Nouveau, half of jewelry box. Let's see how close I can get and stay in focus. Oh, good job, camera. It is staying in focus. And then let's see what this looks like over this um, Lucky Locket set. Because that's a very pretty set too. So now that's pretty because it's new, it's more neutral. And I feel like then the turquoise part pops. Do you see that? I like that too. I wonder if I cover some of the, if you can see it better. I feel like I have to block some of the light on some of these really glittery ones. Oh, let's put this as the very sheer one too. Let's see what this looks like. Over, what do I have left? I think we're going to go across here and then, so this is that ivory base. It's pretty sheer, we discovered. So let's see what it looks like over. So it's half on uh, Lucky Locket and it's half on Pocket Watch. And then I'm going to put the other half on, um, what is this blue? Look at that blue. What is that blue color? Poetic Beauty. All right. Oh, and here, there's a little bit left. We'll throw it on Rose Cameo. Okay, so let's see here. Rose Cameo. So this is that uh, floral embroidery. What's the one? Floral embroidery by itself. So it has the ivory, the sheer ivory base. This is wit over um, Rose Cameo. Not a huge difference, but look at it over <laughs> Poetic Beauty. So you kind of lose the design though because the blue overtakes it. And then across here, it is over, um, half is lo uh, Lucky Locket, and this one is Pocket Watch. Are you not impressed with my memorization of the fall sets? <laughs> I think, I don't really think, well, I don't have a lot of fingernails left, so I don't think we're going to show any other overlays, but look at how pretty. Let's just do one last little here. I know what we'll do. We're going to see if we can get these 
let's see here. Where's my camera? Here, here. Maybe I'll have to overlap these more. Look how pretty these are though. Just even laying them out together. I think they're super pretty. Getting a lot of shine, uh, reflection from the gla uh, glare, sorry, that's the right word, from my, are these going to fit on camera? Close, close to all being on camera. All right, here, let's see. Blocking, I can turn down this light. Oh, I have a timer, where'd that go? You got to turn this off, just down. Let's see. That's what it is with a different light source. There. Now I got out of my shadow, too. These look very similar in the package, but they are not. There. That separates them more. All right. That is the Fall 2024 Modern Heirloom Collection. I'm going to put this on for a quick nail fee. And uh, then I'm going to actually do a Manny, a full Manny. So, all right, you guys have a great day or night. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.